Fitness models really look good in suits. They do. Hey, fitness models, train it yes. single. <laughs> <laughs> channel in case you're new here hi my name is honey joe and this is Pina. <laughs> and welcome to the sandy G hey, sandy, sandy gang sandy, sandy gang yeah <laughs> she did the dance <laughs> so paint is back paint is the time you are living on my channel do you remember yeah, yeah. how to book a monthly edition with paint how to walk the runner with velo how to something velo yeah. samantha bridal <laughs> velo oh, like we are here we are doing the branding and all of the things so paint is back because a lot of you have been asking me, I hate when influencers say that two people asked you, why like? So a lot of you have been asking me <laughs> about what type of modeling they'd be good for because it's like people don't get it, they're just like, I want to be a model. Mm. Someone will DM you, I want to mm. be a modeler. There's no such word, by the way. And you're like, what kind, what's your height? They mm -hmm. don't know their measurements. I'm like, how do I help how you? Because I know the only one that anyone can fit in is commercial. Yeah. But like the others, where do we place them? So Paynet is here to give us the tea on how to pick a modeling type. Yay. Yeah, Yay. Also, she's a big okay. If you don't know her, <laughs> check yourself before you make yourself. <laughs> and she's also a YouTuber. So her channel will be in the description bar as well as her Instagram if you want to get inspired and be, you know, high fashion and do the things. Yes, Paynet. Yes. <laughs> Tell us. Um, so basically, before you even think about modeling, mm -hmm. why do you want to be a model? Because I have passion. That's what they are. Ah, my friend, <laughs> passion. You know, I was thinking the other day. People talk about passion like it's just a word you throw. Passion. What would you do if for two years you got a single job? You are training every single day, and you're like, hmm. There's no work. We used to be passionate. Or you end up booking a job. They don't pay you. In fact, they, they stay with your money for almost a year. Yeah. Are you still passionate? So when on you that use, note, mm -hmm. today I <laughs> saw a reminder and I was just like, it was, uh, it's a BTS of a runway I did with two other really big models right now, they're both international. And I was just like, wow, five year anniversary of not getting paid for this job. And it was a big job. We walked in front of presidents, we walked, I was just like, hey, the money, the check. Have you ever seen that check? No, but did I stop modeling? I did not. Exactly. So people use the word passion very loosely. And yeah. I think that many models do not understand what passion is. Until you get into the industry, mm -hmm. that's when you can really say, okay, I'm passionate. <laughs> yeah, I'm maybe I'm not. I'm still going for the issue, I'm passionate. <laughs> exactly. So why do you want to be a model? And um, once you know why you want to, if you have a really good why, then you can now go into the types of modeling. Yeah. Now, types of modeling, um, very, very simply, usually it's divided by your body measurements, your height, and sometimes your personality. Really? So in terms of height, of course, fashion models are usually the tallest. And under fashion, if you're a fashion model, and please don't say you're a high fashion model. Please. You get to high fashion when you get to Naomi Campbell status. Yeah. Don't just get to high around. Yeah. Exactly. The high, don't, don't, don't use it. John Small, what up, namesake. <laughs> exactly. all, all of us. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, um, fashion models are runway models. They do mm -hmm. runways, they do editorials, and they do fit modeling. Now, I think you might want to go and Google what fit modeling is because the difference between fit modeling and, and fitness, fitness modeling. I've noticed people just think it's the same thing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, for fashion models, minimum height requirements. Now, minimum means that is the least. Barefoot. Because someone texted me. I, I shared your post <laughs> to someone and I was like, oh, you're always asking me about modeling. Here is a poster you can try out. Mm. They're like, I'm 5'9 with heels on. Uh -uh. I'm sorry, what? No. Barefoot. Like yes. barefoot. Yeah. Five nine barefoot for female. I'm five models. nine, so if you know me, that's the shortest. When I tell people, people are like, Yeah, so tall. I'm like, come to my runways. I'm just average. I'm not even tall. You're the minimum height. Right? I'm the minimum height. 
So um, make sure for female models, you're five nine and above. Body size. Now this is very tricky because it depends on the market. Okay. Now the East African market, we allow runways to have. Sorry. We're more lenient. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. So um, from size four UK all the way to size eight UK. So eight UK is a hip thirty eight. Please. That's a standard size model. Right? Yes, that's uh -huh. a standard size model. And please go and also know what eight UK means and twelve UK. There's literally UK. charts online, like Google, and then they'll bring you a chart and they'll be like, your hips should be this, your so exactly. So you, you find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then um, most of the time for fashion models, we look at your bone structure. So do you mm -hmm. have facial features that are unique and different? Um, think awkward. Don't think pretty. Like alien-esque. Exactly. Um, Tara says ugly pretty. Yes. And that's what they mean. Don't yes. be like textbooks pretty because that's more commercial. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we are different. Yes. That's actually good. If People they made fun of you in high school, you're probably <laughs> a model. <laughs> exactly. People who have like very high cheekbones, very long jaws, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes very really small eyes, sometimes very really big, big ears. Eyes. Something just out of the Just something different about uh -huh. you. We usually love that because um, creatives love things that are different. Yeah. We don't like paint canvases. Sometimes thing. we don't yeah. like paint canvases. Sometimes or generic we... looks where you have exactly. 10 models who all look the same. Exactly. The exactly. Okay. So for fashion, of course, fashion runway, you know what runway is, got walking on a runway. Um, if you need more details, come in. Like, go Google. Just please just Google what Google is your what friend. Is. Yes. Sometimes you ask questions that you don't have to ask. <laughs> so just check it out. Just Google what is a runway model or what is runway modeling and videos for a lot. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then editorials, of course, are magazine, okay. magazine shoots. But then, you know, we have different types of magazine shoots. Okay. Like when you go through um, Vogue, yeah. we have the main, the main image, like the yes. cover image, and then the spread. Mm -hmm. But then we have other images which have details on them. Okay. So you'll find the model is wearing um, a look, and then we have prizes. So those mm -hmm. are not editorial, those are catalog images. So even as a fashion model, you can also do catalog. Catalog. Yeah. And then fit Where models. Where is there more money? Yeah. <laughs> depends on the brand. More money depends on um, the brand, yes. yes. Then also, one thing I've learned about magazines internationally. Now, mm -hmm. this is something that many people don't understand how magazines work. Yeah. Now, a magazine, like the Kenyan magazine we had, Couture Africa magazine, mm -hmm. you were paid to be on the cover and do the spread. Yes. Internationally, you will do a separate shoot and they will sell those images to the magazine. Oh, so they'll pay you for that separate shoot yes. and then they'll sell Yes. and not pay you more? No, no. You will Maybe. be paid. If they sell them, of course, you'll have a contract oh, okay. showing uh, whether you're going to get paid for that or not. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that is what happens, especially for the catalog uh, images, that is what they do. Mm -hmm. For cover, of course, Vogue cover, if you go to YouTube, you can see behind the scenes of Vogue, they usually shoot the cover and it takes at least a month of planning. Wow. For one model, one model like this, one, one model one to shoot a cover. And sometimes they shoot covers and then they don't even post them. And say it was a whole theme, there was a whole production. Exactly. Okay. And you still get paid for it. Yeah. So um, the highest paid type of modeling internationally is fit modeling. Now fit Ex models... Explain briefly. Because <laughs> you've Googled and now you know. <laughs> yes. So fit models are models who they will go to a designer mm -hmm. and sometimes, for example, a designer wants to produce masks. Okay. in mass yeah mm -hmm. and um let's say you want to produce what you're wearing mm -hmm. in mass mm -hmm. and so we need a size christmas vibes by the way that's why it's shiny <laughs> you're welcome mm -hmm. so you want a small size you want a medium you want a large mm -hmm. so what they normally do is yes they can use a mannequin and yeah. use some measurements mm -hmm. but it's good to see how it looks on a human being like mm -hmm. how the outfit moves and how it will look it on be different than on a mannequin exactly. just exactly Okay. Exactly. So that's so that's what a fit model is. Yeah. So okay. uh, you've seen uh, some fashion houses like Gucci, Prada. They have their own in-house models. Okay. So these models can be called at any time to come in, fit clothes. So literally, that's what they do. They come fit clothes. And they have and a one-year contract. To do that. And you pay per hour. Account. Wow. Per hour. So, so you hope it takes longer. <laughs> yeah. <like> you <laughs> the can stay two hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the longer it takes, the more the money. Uh -huh. Then it's really tasking. I'm because sure. I think I've done fit modeling for a while and I fainted so many times because wow. you have to stand for long hours. Count yes. me out. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's the highest paid uh, type of modeling in the world. But wow. then um, in Kenya, <clears throat> yes. In Kenya, 
we are still trying as a fashion industry <laughs> we're budding for how long can we finally become a rose exactly <laughs> so the measurements for this first type of modeling we talked about are usually mm, height is five nine mm -hmm. barefoot yes and then um dress size four to eight okay so hips ladies hips, hips up to 38 up to 38 from 34 to 38 mm -hmm. waist try and make it 24 try well but 24. <laughs> 28 is allowed and then um bust i mean most models don't have bust, bust beyond 34 yeah so it's fine you're fine you're fine for them i'm plus and the bust is 30, 34 really? so yeah it's like <laughs> what bust for male models well just be taller than 5 10. okay mm -hmm. taller than... then ah one thing also about male models mm -hmm. is at least have for the kenyan market at least have mass don't be too don't lean. be too lean because international models are very lean. Yes, yes. But then that you then, won't get booked here. Right? Mm -mm. Here, maybe once you are here. And as the, most most designers, most menswear designers in Kenya, they want they design for older men. Oh, they don't okay. And they're not like that. Yeah. So, so they'll have a bit of prefer, something. Yes. Get it. Yes. So second type of modeling. Second type of modeling is commercials. I'm sure okay. you guys have heard heard hard about this. I know. Everyone wants to be a commercial <laughs> model. <laughs> You want to be on a billboard, yeah, and TV. You want to be queens. Well, so if I want to be a commercial model, what types can I be? I can be, t I can do TVC, which mm -hmm. is television commercial, mm -hmm. and then I can do voiceover, voice, yeah. like voice for radio, and what else? Uh, and print, commercial print. Okay. Print. So I find it odd that every the two jobs I've ever booked commercially, mm -hmm. like print, was paying more than TV. Is that really the standard or yeah, or really? is it just weird jobs? <laughs> Okay, it depends on uh -huh. what you're doing and okay. what role you're... First of all, it depends on what role you're playing. So the roles, um, there's main cast. Yes. You could be supporting. Supporting lead mm -hmm. and... Oh yeah, our feature. And then we have... Extras. The extras. Okay. So of course... And you could be a speaking extra and a non-speaking extra. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> the one that just passes in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you'll sit there with your coffee. Yeah, even or you'll be seen at least for two, three seconds. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, um... With commercials, if you're a main cast, you're the highest paid, of course. Yes. If you're alone. Oh, okay. If you're not so alone, usually you share the. Ah. You share the cost. Well, <laughs> so we are divided by two. Yeah. Right. And um, if you're semi-featured or if you're sorry, if you're featured or a semi-lead, mm -hmm. then you're paid after the lead, and most of the time we will see your face. Okay. You won't speak. But, but you'll appear, yeah, yeah. For long enough, so, someone can recognize exactly, that sign. Exactly. And then um, for um, extras, featured to extras, you're literally an extra, like an extra you side of price. Yeah. Exactly. But I feel like those could be how some people get into commercial modeling. Mm. Like you're an extra, and then you. Because I know someone who went to an audition as an extra, and then the. the Semi featured or whoever didn't show up, and they're like, You come. <laughs> and he was like, Yes. Oh and my then god. And did three ads with them after that. So try it. And then also, I think with commercial modeling, you have to really create relations. Actually, okay. the entire modeling industry. Make good relations. Don't Let's be work everywhere you go. Don't be the kind of person who shows up and you're like better than everyone else. Yeah. You know more Sitting than in everyone your corner. else. You don't want to interact with people. You will not get work. This is what Jean says all the time. She books work from other people's work. So exactly. she'll go to an audition, talk to someone, that person will refer her and mm. that person will refer her. So mm. always... So who can do this? First who can do commercial modeling? Commercial mm -hmm. modeling? Mm -hmm. Anyone can do commercial modeling. Anyone from the age of... Zero? <laughs> mm, that's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> like you're zero <laughs> hours old? Yes. Okay, Maybe yeah. six months? Yeah, six months yeah. to... Because who's wearing diapers? 18, 19. Like wow. whatever age you want to be, okay. because you have different roles, and we have, of course, and you can basically look in anyhow, like however you want. Exactly, exactly. You with your tattoos, with your whatever it is, piercings, body marks, whatever it is, you can you can do commercials. Okay. But then also, commercial industry is very selective, especially the Kenyan commercial industry. Okay. Very, very selective. Yeah. Um, and the, one of the things that models complain about, especially when they come to me, is why don't you have more dark skin models? I still get that question in 2020. Yeah. I still do. And it's very unfortunate that sometimes when they do casting, most of the people who they cast are lighter, lighter skinned. And I don't know, it's because maybe it's because it sells more. Yeah. And I've also seen this even on our Instagram. Uh -huh. 
those are the, the ones that I get more like. I have seen this on my Instagram. When I post a photo of, say, someone like Chelsea Lulu mm -hmm. or uh, maybe Bernice. Tiffany. Mm -hmm. Tiffany is a new model. She hasn't done any work. Yeah. But her photos get, even her video got like 2,000 views. I was like, what you doing guys like wow. all the pictures <laughs> i so, always love being black because i'm like we come in so many different flavors mm, you know it's mm, not just one track mm. but society has taught us colorism so much when i started modeling in 2012 all casts were always like looking for light skin that looking for i was just mm. like hey where are supposed mm. dark cast supposed to go so, and and i've also noticed with clients sometimes a client will tell you i'm looking for ushers or i'm looking for models especially for hostesses show. yeah exactly then, then like I'll kids. send everyone, and, they'll and then they'll like tell you, um, can you send us more who look like her? Now, when they say more who look like her, it's usually the skin tone that they're, they're talking about. Do better, clients, <laughs> since you I'm talking to. Because I feel like, especially with commercials, you're trying to reach the whole range. Mm. So you're trying to sell a product. You don't need to be light skinned to use this exactly. product. You need to be dark. So just cast everyone. Exactly. Okay. So commercials, anyone can do. Uh, TVC, when you go for TVC casting, TVC basically is TV commercial. You've mm -hmm. seen people, you have to have a bit of acting skills. Yeah. Very, very important. So if you're in drama fest, anyway, keep going, they're talking keep to going, you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, voice voiceovers. I'm sure you guys have heard people on radio, like that guy who says, um, a majestic dome. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't listen to radio, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have not had that commercial? No, I need oh to my listen. Gosh. After this, you play for me. <laughs> Copyright. Yes. Yeah. So, um, the guy is a voiceover artist, so they hire you for your voice. Okay. Now, voice, if, if you know Edward Gennaro, he talks about this a lot because he is a voiceover artist. Yeah. And there's also a lady who teaches voiceover. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's a lot of work and you have to learn. Have range and you have to, because you have to emote exactly. with your voice. You exactly. know your face, we can't see. Exactly. But then what they were telling us also is you also have to, when you go for the, the actual job, mm -hmm. try as much as possible to actually act it out. It helps you. I've seen even when the they voice. do behind the scenes for animated shows, like mm -hmm. cartoons, whoever is voicing it, usually like if they're running, they'll like run so yeah. that they actually punt in real life. Yeah. So yeah. maybe do the thing exactly. even in the studio. Exactly. Okay. Oh. And then for print, of course you guys know print is billboard, mostly billboard. We have flyers. packaging material, mm -hmm. flyers, uh, brochures. Mm -hmm. And guys, um, I think this is something I had an issue with in 2018. Mm -hmm. One of my models did um, a shoot mm -hmm. for a company and then they had agreed to use the photos only, digital. Mm -hmm. only on, on, the, on digital, on the social media it happened to me too. And, stuff. <laughs> and then one day she wakes up and she's on the flyers. Eh? You see, you need to be paid for that. And your contract needs to stipulate all this. Where things. will the images be used? Exactly. Okay. And you see- Because you have image rights, guys. Yeah, true. So models, this is why you need to read. Models don't read contracts. I've gone for shows and people are like, how much, how much? Exactly. Sign. Sign. I'm like, you're already asking for a pen. I haven't even started the second line. <laughs> so make sure you know where your images mm. are being taken. Mm. So so that they don't, you know, it's use helped. your images for 10 years in other countries. And you're just like... In the other countries is even worse. Mm. It's even worse. That type of modeling. So that type of modeling, you guys know, I've had people ask me this a lot of time. <laughs> Can I be a plus size model? Do I'm a plus size plus model. Size model. Do you use this plus size model? Plus size modeling is that type of modeling, yes. And um, I think it's where the world is going right now because the Kenyan market, Finally. the Kenyan market, to be honest, yeah. to be honest, and even as we are doing our auditions right now, mm -hmm. the Kenyan market has a bias for caviar girls, and very understandably because the Kenyan That's woman, the African too. woman, yes, you know. So most models who are size four to eight are gonna lose work in the uh, near future. So it can be eight to twelve, not even eight to twelve, ten to fourteen, to sixteen. Ooh. We're finally getting paid when yes. I'm about to retire. <laughs> <laughs> when will you retire? No, we can't we'll just walk a right Hey, no, we can't is a queen. How she can walk at 90 <laughs> years and just be like, yes, queen, do it. So plus size modeling. Yeah. I need you to tell people what plus size modeling is. Because every time I tell people I'm a plus size model, they're like, you, with your size. But if I say I'm a model and don't mention plus size, they're like, you, with your size. I'm like, so what do you want? <laughs> so there's obviously a gap between yes. what regular people think plus size mm -hmm. modeling is mm -hmm. and what is plus size mm -hmm. in fashion. Mm -hmm. So what is the size? So for plus size, the moment you hit hips 40, hips 40, it doesn't matter if you look like me and your hips 40, it doesn't Even matter. Even if the upper sometimes, body is like this. Yeah, sometimes your when you're size. smaller, uh -huh. people, when you're taller, I mean, people, you look smaller, yes. but then you might have the measurement. So it's very important people know that at hips, hips 40, 40 you're plus. You're plus. 
Yeah. And, and I think people need to stop thinking about plus size as an insult. I think that's why people don't like to be called plus because they're like, oh, you mean I'm fat? Me, I'm like, where's the plus size girl? Me, where's the money? <laughs> why do people think it's an insult? I don't know. Most people don't like But I've also experienced that. There's a model who we cast last year mm -hmm. and she kept insisting she's hip 38. I'm like, sis, no. <laughs> You know, there's no way your hips are It's like okay to be plus, guys. Yeah, and there's so much work. Like I did Samantha Bridal four times because I'm plus. So they, mm. there's clients who just want plus size girls. Size girls. Okay. And then it's very important that you know, even as a plus size, you still have to be tall. I was going to ask is there a high cut for plus size? Yes, because I happen is. to be tall, but mm. like there is because, for example, you did Samantha Bridal. Yes. There is no way, or or it's very difficult for. A five six to wear a bridal gown. She will step over my uh, You know. Keep and if you've met Kenyan designers, they love long, long trays. The tray is and over big there. Gowns. <laughs> so it becomes you can very keep difficult. It, but to what level? Yeah. Exactly. To cast. So taller. So mm -hmm. five seven. Taller five, five seven five eight. If if you are five nine even better, but five seven five eight. Try five eight. Five yeah. eight is like very very a very very good height for plus size. And then also know your size, please. It's very important to know your size. Yeah, a lot of girls don't know their size. Size 10 UK is a size 6 US. Also know the UK mm -hmm. and US. Exactly. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, of course from 10 all the way to 18, that is plus size. Yeah. And sometimes 18 doesn't even look like 18. As long as you have the measurement, I think that's it. Like when I, sometimes I photograph smaller parts, so mm -hmm. I'll, I'll tell someone my hip says like, hey, I've gained runner weight, I was a 45 but now, my hip's 46. <laughs> and I'll tell them, and they're like, no you're not. And I'll come and they, they'll be running out of division, mm -hmm. they're like, eh? You? I'm like, yeah, it's just I'm elongated, exactly. so you don't see it, it's but smaller. yeah. Yeah, so, so no. It, and then plus size models can do pretty much anything. They can do runway, they can do editorials, Editorial, they can do fits, commercial. they can do commercials. You fit all those places. Exactly, all right. exactly. So plus size queen, go get your check, it's who we're talking to. Next type of modeling. Next type of modeling is fitness. Okay. Now fitness. Not fit. Fitness. Fitness. Focus, guys. Fitness models are purely must have abs. Mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. If you guys know, if I may drop a few names, you know uh, Joseph Asonga. He recently just won a title. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know, of course, um, what's his name? What's his name? Alvin, Alvin. Styles. <laughs> <laughs> you know Kola Budi. You know these people. All of them. Yeah. And, and work for fitness models are usually commercials because sometimes they play roles, roles yeah. in commercial modeling. And, um, like I can't do a push-up, so how am I going to be in that commercial? Exactly. Sometimes, most beer ads because you know oh, what, yeah. fitness models really look good in suits. They do. Hey fitness models, pain it yes. single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fitness models, they do a lot of commercials. Okay. I think that's where they really do. Fit. They and thrive. then of course they pageantry for no not pageantry sorry competition yes competitions. I was going to say yeah like bodybuilder competitions and exactly, such exactly exactly okay. you can do those all right yeah, so if you're buff even you this I feel like we've left out something really you mentioned everything oh yeah yeah no 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 uh -huh. glamour Let's talk glamour, about glamour girls hey girl so, <laughs> if you like to be nude like me <laughs> that's who she's talking to so you guys have watched I'm sure every model has watched Victoria's Secret. And if you haven't, are you even modeling? Because that's all our dream. Like me, yes, call me right now. Forget me, guys. Hi. I'm blocking all of you. Do you know something interesting? I was watching the ads the other day, BTS, the mm -hmm. behind the scenes, and I heard uh, Candice Swanepoel say she auditioned five times. Wow. Gigi Hadid auditioned for five years. Gigi Hadid. The. The Gigi. Five years. I was like, God. And that's why you're going for one casting. You're like, oh, they don't even like me. I'm not going back. And you're passionate. You and you have passion. passion. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fashion. This is fashion. Exactly. So, so um, glamour. So glamour is mostly like what lingerie more? In lingerie, yes. Okay. Lingerie, swimwear, swimwear um, nude. Some fight. Some people do nude. Nude as art. Long as it's not porn. Yeah. It's good. Okay. It's glamour modeling. All right. Yes. And of course, the opportunity in Kenya. I'm not sure really about opportunities. And We're then, in Africa, so people are very judgy. Judge a lot you. of people don't want people to. People will it. judge you. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to, that is a type of modeling. And then also sometimes it might lock you out of some customers, some oh, clients. Yeah. They don't want to be related to someone. Exactly. Who, exactly. Wow. Exactly. I remember when I did my first, because I did Forever Training for a long time. So mm -hmm. the first time I did a bikini shoot, people were like, guy, they're going to post this. I'm like, yeah. And I'm working, you know. Exactly. You over there judging me with no money in your pocket. This is my work. Because like she's saying, if it's artistic and it's mm -hmm. tasteful, mm -hmm. then. And it's, if it's product also. Yes, Because it's sometimes 
Um, you might shoot for someone who's doing bikini, who makes bikini. Yes. But then the shoot looks like. like I know. It's, that's why even you can shoot bikini in a garage. Yeah. Because yeah, uh, yeah, now it's raunchy. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, it needs to make sense. Mm, okay. Mm, mm. So, so when models are trying to be models, these are the types of modeling. If there's anything you think we left out, please leave it in the comment section. And Payne will address it. I will pay you with this photo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so until the, tomorrow, not next time, we want to love you and leave you. They should do what Payne is. They should subscribe. First uh -huh. of all, if you are not subscribed, subscribe and click right on the notification. So you know when the videos are up. Number two, make sure you like this video. Big thumbs up. <laughs> Number three, three, make sure you share it with a friend. I mean, you or know two. so many more. <laughs> share it so with someone more. who needs it. So they can stop asking us on our DMs share. questions that we've talked about. Or even about. mention them. Don't be Yeah. Just tag them. Tag them. Tag, tag them. all of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and until next time, we'll see you. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.